just like shoot from scratch. Yeah, yeah. I'll start a brand new one here. Yeah. Alright, okay. So this is Android 2.1. Still got your standard applications. Um, one of the things I do like about it is the, uh, the browser. So, again, you've got the sort of standard browser screen. I really like it in, in the full screen mode. So, again, quite a small footprint device. But what I like about it is, is the fact that you've got a, quite a large display screen. So, if I just select a sort of standard page, you know, standard uh, results page, I've got a really nice big screen to, to really work with. And I say, very responsive, easy to use. And I can always switch those to, to maybe dual screen. So, again, more so in, in the book format. Uh -huh. Google. So again, I'm now starting to, to do interactive. Um, oh, you can do two windows. So that is good. Windows, yeah. I like that. That is, that that is cool. awesome. I'm going to get that. Look at that. It's quite a nice concept. Yes, it is. That's very unique too. And again, we've got, uh, I think you've seen some of the custom dual screen applications. So we've We've got an SDK which allows us to build Android applications which are, are dual screen. So I think you saw the textbook reader with the video. And we the, did. That was that was very good. The lecture, um, so the lecture app. Some of the other things we're doing. Um, this one, if I just sign this out. So what we've got the concept. Obviously, we're talking about cloud. We're talking about cloud computing. Um, this is a, a Wi-Fi enabled device, but it has got 3G uh, factory option. So this is actually connected to a server. So it's specific to this user, so the, the, the user logs in, see the nice fluid transitions. Again, swaps very, very smoothly between the. Uh, the it does. And the that is a, that's very quick. You know? And so what we're actually doing here is um, certain things like, you know, you can imagine in the future what's going to happen. You know, you're going to get rid of, uh, you're going to get rid of paper. You're going to get rid of other things. So if I just quickly. Uh, Switch over. As I say, it's connected to a, to a server, so we've got like a almost a, a teacher's teacher's portal. Uh, so this has a DLNA. Then. No, this is this actually a, this is a, a server connection. Oh, okay. So as I say, you can imagine this in like a university or something. You don't want. So you know, I can start actually drawing some some information up here. And you actually see that we're we're seeing it on the on the teacher's right. Room as well. And the teacher can write back as well. Oh, yeah. How long does it work without? It's without five, five hours. So if I log in to Jill, again, go on to this one again. Oh, it's all on the same server? Yeah, so, oh, yeah. so again, you know, in, in the sort of scenario of a, of a student or something, or something related to that, then it's quite an interesting area. Wow. Same as, you know, things like, you can see educational gaming, you know, here where I've got, uh, you know, go through again. Nice use of the dual screen. There's quiz scores up there. Are actually, live scores. So uh -huh. when I when I go through and sort of start changing some of these, and then go through. So if I go through to 20. I've done pretty pretty good. 10 out 10 out of 20. But you'll see that here already. There's your score. score right? There's my score so it's right almost there. a way to like turn quizzes in the classroom into competitive. Almost, yeah. I mean, you talk about sort of social networking, maybe in the classroom, you know, in a in a positive way, not in a sort of you know everyone's on Facebook and just you know having a good time, but actually in an educational way. It, it's it's a way to use this device. As I say, example applications, but a good way of enabling this device to be used in that type of environment. So. With this, is this your service that you guys have made here? This, Are you this, is, with this is an example service at the moment okay. that, that we're using to show the device. Oh, um, we're looking at this, this show, obviously, for partners to, to look at services. Right, We've right. had a lot of interest from, uh, from the type of educational environment. We've had uh, interest from manufacturing. Again, sort of inventory type of scenarios, yeah. um, some stock market, we've had interest in that. Obviously, the, the dual screen, we're using uh, two screens separately. 
So we've had I think that's one of the, the better features yeah. like, so far about that. I mean, like, it's good overall, but there's, you know, that feature, being able to browse, you know, have two independent screens going, but then actually, you know, one screen's the keyboard, one screen is the web browser, yeah. um, and being able to even split the content between two screens. It's, it's very unique. There's not a lot of uh, tablets or uh, dual screen devices that do that. And most of the time, it's total independent on each screen. Sure. You can't really share anything like that. And we have a single speaker here? Yeah, there's a single speaker okay. on the bottom. And uh, one USB port on the top, I saw? There's a standard USB on the top and a mini USB. Oh, look at that. Bottom. Sweet. At the moment, there's a single camera on the back. Yeah. What's um, the megapixel rating? Three on the megapixel. Three, that's good. And you have a stylus slot, I see. Stylus slot. Stylus slot. slot. As you'll see, I only use a stylus for actually writing. The right. Bottom. The rest of the time, I'm navigation using finger. Navigation. Yeah. It's quite responsive, so you know, quite responsive to touch. Yeah. So, tell me a bit about the SDK that you mentioned about. Uh... So, at the moment, we've, we've obviously, you know, we've developed an SDK to enable us to do sort of custom dual screen applications. Um, at some point in, in the future, we're obviously going to be pushing that, um, pushing that out. Um, for, for developers, we're oh, looking also at the show for developers. We've got a, <laughs> an email address on the back of the uh, material to actually email in to show their interest. Yeah. Excellent. We'll get that because on the radar article, we'd like to have that one okay. in there for, for interested people because there's a lot of Android aficionados that read our blog and our, our magazine and stuff like that. And it's running what version of Android? At the moment, it's running 2.1. But obviously, in the future, once we get to the point of launch, then we'll update it. Yeah. So, awesome. It's a separate system, so you can do one thing, you can browse the internet online. And um, can you charge via the micro USB, or is it strictly the I don't adapter? believe so. I think it's strictly this today. OK. But obviously, you know, things will change probably yep. by the time it's launch. For sure. Yeah. Um, it's got USB ports. That's looking very solid. It does. Huh. Like else? Right now, this is like um, what about widget support? Um, Can you do live wallpapers or anything like at the that? Moment, at the moment, we haven't implemented the, uh, the, the live wallpapers as, as dual screen. Um, so that's something that, that will come in the future. Okay. We want to see how it goes, get feedback, and then move it. We're still 